Hello everyone, welcome back. Here's Van Amsen with another live coding uh, challenge. So today we are diving deep into a fascinating coding problem that involves three, uh, a fundamental data structure. So let's get started. Our task is to determine the number of nodes uh, in a binary tree where the node's value is equal to the average of all nodes in its subtree. So let's break it down. A simple uh, example. So consider a tree uh, yeah, on the picture. So uh, this is a tree uh, with uh, nodes 4, 8, 5, 0, 1, uh, yeah, 0, and 6 uh, represented. And for example, for a node uh, with a value uh, 4, so uh, this one, uh, the uh, average of its uh, subtree is uh, 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 0 plus 1 plus 6 divided by six not nodes in total, so 24 divided by six, uh, it's four. So uh, it matches uh, our four. So science four is the node value, it matches the criteria. So uh, we have uh, one point and uh, same with order. So for example, here uh, we have, uh, yeah, five plus six divided by two. So it's uh, 11 divided uh, by two without remainder, so it's five. So as you can see, average, so five uh, matches our uh, node also five. So we have a uh, second and we have a uh, yeah, total of uh, five uh, such nodes. So output should be uh, five. So I hope you get uh, yeah, the logic of the task and what we are uh, dealing with. So. Uh, what will be our logic and approach. So the heart of this problem uh, lies in traversal. So we want to find the sum and uh, the count of nodes for every subtree in our binary tree. And once we have these two values, we can find the average and check uh, if it matches the uh, node value. But here is the trick. While traversing the tree, uh, we should be careful not to recompute the sum and count for the same subtree, uh, more than one. And this is where our post-order traversal shines. So in post-order traversal, we first get the value from the left subtree, then from the right, and only then uh, do we process the current node. And this way, by the time we uh, are checking a node, we already have processed its children and have their sum and count values ready to be used. And uh, yeah, so uh, we first dive deep uh, to the leftmost node, uh, process its children first, then move to its right sibling, and finally move uh, upward, repeating this uh, pattern. So, and by the time uh, we reach back to the read, uh, we would uh, process the entire uh, tree in a bottom up uh, manner, and this will ensure we have all the required data before we need it, uh, also avoiding uh, redundant uh, computation. So uh, let's code this out. So, so first, initialize the result counter. So result will be zero and traverse node. So non-local result assess the outer functions variable and base case. If the node is null, so if not node, then return zero, zero, return sum and count as zero. And then recursively compute sum and count for the left subtree. So left sum, left count will be traverse node left. And similarly for the right subtree. So right sum, right count will be traverse node right and 
and calculate current nodes subtree. So current sum will be node value left uh, sum plus right sum as well and current count will be one plus left count plus right count. So finally, uh, let's check if the average matches the node's value. So uh, when we have the average, if current sum uh, divide by without remainder, current count uh, equal node value, then result plus one. So if yes, increment, increment the result count. So return the current nodes, sum and count for parent nodes to use. So we return count sum and current count. And finally, we start the traversal from the root traverse root and also return the final result so return result so this is our implementation uh, so now time to run it to verify uh, it's working for this uh, given test cases so hopefully it will yeah so all good uh, our uh, logic works uh, so uh, what we uh, did uh, we maintain a results variable to keep track of uh, nodes uh, in uh, non-local so it's just uh, some optimization so I tried uh, yeah it's running a bit faster for uh, Python and uh, yeah inside our uh, core or helper function traverse we check uh, the base case first and if node uh, doesn't exist it uh, contributes nothing to the sum or count and uh, yeah, once we have the sum and counts from left and right uh, subtree, we compute the current uh, node subtree value. And then we check if uh, the average matches the node value. And if yes, we increment our uh, global, yeah, so non-local uh, results. So now uh, let's test it for unsynthesized cases. So I'm uh, submitting it uh, and let's see. So yeah, our implementation bit 69% uh, with respect to uh, runtime and also 28 with respect to uh, memory. But uh, as you can see, it's probably uh, yeah, differences uh, between runtime. So I think I had uh, a bit even faster and slower on uh, previous uh, runs, but basically uh, the time complexity is uh, ON, so linear, so it should be all good. Uh, so. Uh, tree can be uh, tricky, but once you get a hang of uh, traversal and uh, recursive logic as well, they become a lot more uh, approachable. So I hope this uh, session provide uh, clarity on this topic. And yeah, remember coding is much about understanding the problem as uh, it is about uh, writing at the solution. So always take a moment to break down the problem, uh, sketch out uh, your uh, approach and then dive uh, deep into coding. So if you found this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, coding adventure and much more. And keep challenging yourself and keep practicing, stay motivated and happy coding.